with celebrity stylist and ambassador for John Frieda Australia, David Keogh. He's direct from LA. I'm super excited because he's going to be showing us how to do that sexy, beachy LA hair that we all want. So let's get to it. Fabulous, let's go. So David, that hair, that sexy, great hair that moves and that you see, you know, off-duty mm -hmm. celebrities in LA all the time, mm -hmm. have that perfect hair, how do we get it? It's, it's pretty simple. I think it's pretty simple. It's a case, especially with hair like yours, just to build the hair a little bit with some product. And then it's just a case of curling it a little bit, but not like overly curly, overly curly. It's not like leaving it curly in and you have that Miss America hair. So my hair's been in blow dried a day ago. Yeah. So is this hair that you can you, you know you can get on on a hair that's a day in or yeah. like a great post blow dry style? Yeah, it's perfect for this because it's got a little bit of guts to it, a little bit of texture in it, and it's just great for building. You know, when the hair's too clean, it won't it, hold. It won't hold, and it always flops and drops. So yeah. it's just this is perfect. Dirty hair is a little bit perfect for it. So what do you use? Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to use on the roots just a bit of root booster. This is I'm, all I'm doing, as I said, is building at the moment. So I'm going to use some root booster on the on the roots. Uh -huh. Is that a volumizer? A little bit of a volumizer, and then we're just literally going to use dry shampoo uh -huh. just to get the rest of it going and some dream curls. I'm only using this because I want to put a tiny little bit of moisture into the hair, and it's good just for building as well. So yeah, instead right. of me wetting it down with water. Mm -hmm. This is a great one just to spray and just for a little bit okay. of moisture. Okay, that's interesting. It's going to spray through. I'm going to use my finger just to pick up sections. Let's just spray through and then we just do a little bit of a rub. Now, if just you're, if you're at home and you're yep. doing this, can you just tip your head upside down? <clears throat> mm, no, you have to no. do what David says. You <laughs> I mean, it's pretty, you're just really, all you're doing is just using your finger, lifting, spraying there. Right. If you tip your head upside down, you just tend to get the ends more so than where you want it to go. So we just spray through, okay? So that's pretty well much through the roots. On a warm heat, and all I'm gonna do myself is just rub. Then I might use some of that product you've got in your hand at the moment. I happen to have it handy. In a moment. And I'm just gonna, it's all about building, so I'm just gonna spray some of this through the hair. When you say building, do you mean building volume? Building volume. Yeah, okay. Getting some texture, getting some, okay. you know. So you've done root lift. Root lift. And now? Now we're just gonna just do the end so it has a bit of body as well. Is this a product that swells the yeah, shaft? Yeah, swells like the shaft. Like thickens it up? Yeah, so as you can see, I've just got some volume now. Yeah. It's just a bit messy and textured. I will now come through with the dry shampoo. Once again, I'm gonna use it on and the- what's the trick with dry shampoo? I think people get it really wrong. How much is too much? Where do you spray it? Well, you spray it at the roots to start with. Yeah. Too much is probably when you see a really big film of white, mm -hmm. white powder, and you can't quite get rid of it, and it's flaking and falling off all mm -hmm. the time. So because it can leave it oily if you use too much, it, can't it? Yeah. Oddly. Oddly, yes. I know it's the opposite, isn't it? So I'm just going to once again just section. So it just leaves a little bit of a white, and then I just rub that in a little bit, and it's great. You just start to create all this really fly away, sort of textured hair. So it's really good. So yeah, we're just coming through here. Just give a little bit of a rub. So I've basically put this now through the root area. Yeah. Just to build it up. I will now, I've got a lot of product in here, but it doesn't feel it. No, because everything's really light. And is that because of also the order you've done it in? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And some people, you're just going to be very, you can't be too heavy handed with this. Mm -hmm. It's just a spray. So I'm now just going through the ends, spraying it all through, and then I'll put the blow dry back in. So as you can see, it looks as though the hair's got some life again, and it looks full and pretty. Yeah. And it just has a feel. Light. Yeah. It doesn't feel weighed down with product at all. Yeah, good. But it's just pick up. Okay. So this is the result, but what I'm gonna do now, and I'm not one for I'm not one for like getting the section of hair and doing I just pick up hair and tong it. And tong it. And the other thing is my little tip is don't look in the mirror. Right. Because when you're when you're in the mirror, 
you are, and you trying to work out. Well, so that just, is genius, David. <laughs> pull away from the mirror, and it actually comes more naturally to you to curl it. Really clever. In all my years, <laughs> I never knew that. that so, what makes I, so much sense. If you want to, I mean, also, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm using the volumizer hairspray. Before. So, just before. It acts as a setting lotion. So, I just okay. do a little spray. This little spray, I try not to take you out. <laughs> so, what do you, that's my fault, I turn to you. With Tonging, mm -hmm. how much do you take? Like, Look, you take about an inch inch diameter, I suppose, yep. all the way around, yep. and that's it. And what sort of size tong do you recommend? This is sort of probably like a 20 cent piece, Fine. wouldn't it be? Yeah. Yeah, so something like this. Depending on what sort of curl, you can get bigger. Mm -hmm. But they're quite difficult to use on your own, a bigger tong, aren't that's they? That's right. But, a, but you don't want a skinny tong. You want you want something no. with, because that's going to be easier to do and give you a better that's non Shirley right. Temple poodle and result. That's right. And what it's about is the time that you leave it in the hair. Like okay. I am going to just, I'll show you now. So I just open it up. I always start at the root and then wind round. Mm. Just hold the end. Sometimes I let the ends go a bit earlier so it's not so curly. And do you leave two centimetres, three centimetres, five centimetres off, off the part the, line? Yeah, about, that's about two centimetres there. So flat. that's all I want. Mm -hmm. All right, so there's that and then basically so do you just randomly go around? I just randomly go around. Leaving some pieces flat? Or do you try and tong the whole I lot? I try and tong the whole lot. Okay. You know, if a few pieces fall out, that's fine. So once again, I just go more towards the root, wrap, and just hold it for a little bit, I suppose about 10 seconds. Once again, depending on how much curl you want. Yeah, right. And then pull. Sometimes I even just run my hand through it after just to pull it down if, it's, if I find it's too curly. Wow. So this is what, this is just after the... The tonging. The tonging. This so is this post tonging. Is, this is post tonging. So what we're going to do now, so you can see I've left some ends out. They're not, yeah. well, it's not it's all really curled. really important to have those ends out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. just a few little ends out. So what I'm going to get you to do... <gasps> Tip my head forward. And stick your head, head over. <laughs> okay. Volumizer. Yeah. Okay. And then we're just going to loosen this up with my fingers. I'm sort of well known in LA to do the old head massage because it gives it texture. It's so a, you're really, really, I mean, this is why it feels it's quite hard what you're doing. This is not like subtle. You're really yeah, going for getting it. Getting in there. Yeah. Okay, throw it up for me. Just shake it out. Basically, this is it for me. I mean, just a little bit of... And go. And go. You might just want to play around with your fingers. Sometimes I might use... This is one of my favourite combs, just for... If you, if you want to give it some volume, don't tease on top. I come from underneath and just do this. Oh, that's clever. You can put some finishing cream, but just got to be careful because that'll weigh it down and make it fall out too fast. Yeah. I absolutely love it and I've learned, I've learned new things. I love it when I learn new things. I've learned how to build product. I've learned to not tong with a mirror. That the is going to be a game changer. Yeah. And I've learned to do combing from underneath, not the top, which yeah. I've never done before. Yeah. And I look fabulous and I need to go out now. <laughs> <laughs> look, just one other quick tip. What you can do is once you've got this result, you know, if you feel as though you just want a little bit more up here, just grab the curling iron and just, once again, go over it. Just quickly pick up a section. Be very careful because it's a little bit matted, but that's the whole point. And go over it again, but just hold it at the root, and you'll just get that lift again. That's beachy, sexy LA hair that girls love. That I love. And there's so many things you could do with this too, as well. Once you've done this, you could take half the half it up, pin this, leave this out. There's so many things you can do with it now. So that's it. Sexy, beachy hair that girls just love. Enjoy. Looks great.